How long have you been in this property? Since 26th of June, uh, 2023. Famida can reel off a precise timeline of events when asked. Ironically, her life is consumed by a date that constantly evades her when she can move into permanent housing. This is my little boy's room. He's only seven. He's struggling with his emotions at the moment. You possibly have a roof over your head, but this feels absolutely homeless. You just facing daily basis, there, there is something wrong in the property. Leaks for starters. Famida counts five in total. The rain comes through, you mean? Rain comes through. And when the family first moved in, the cooker didn't work, the boiler didn't work. Because presumably to run that heater is quite expensive. Yes. And the carbon monoxide alarm went off four times. Have you at any point been tempted to say, oh, well, I just don't know how long we're going to be here, so I might as well actually start unpacking things, perhaps, you know, if, if it will provide the boys with some comfort? It is too difficult because once I put it up and the next minute you tell me, hey, your review had been done and we are giving or we are thinking to give you another temporary accommodation because this is my second temporary accommodation and I, I never know that, where, you know, when and how will I be moving out. So for me to take everything on board, I have to do everything by myself. The last time Channel 4 News met Famida was in her previous property. I lived there for five years and that was extremely mouldy, um, severe infestations, especially mice, flies, um, slugs. But this property doesn't have that. This looks like it's really pristine, it's really brushed with the paint and it looks really perfect, but it has got severe issues. You're sleeping in your bedroom, but you can actually see the mushroom growing in the corner. On any given night this year, according to a new report, there were over 300,000 people in some form of homelessness, the majority in temporary accommodation just like Famida. Unfortunately, this is a perfect storm at the moment. The cost of living crisis is continuing. We know that rents are at record level highs and successive governments have just failed to invest in the truly affordable social homes um, that we need. The government says it's spending £2 billion to tackle homelessness, including £1 billion for councils to financially support people out of temporary accommodation. Famida thought her time had come in July. The council sent a letter saying she was top of the list for a permanent home. Finally, after five years of living in temporary accommodation, a chance to settle. Until a few weeks later, a second letter arrived, telling Famida she'd been bypassed for a viewing because the council deemed her to be adequately housed. And this new status, they told her, means she can no longer bid for homes. At the moment, I'm dealing with social services because my little one has got emotional breakdown at all times and uh, my older one is violent at the moment and he chokes the little one so there is a case going on in the background. Back in August, um, my son went with a scissor towards me and it's not normal for him to behave that way. And has this behaviour started or worsened during this period? During this period because there is no consistency. When will it end? It makes me emotional because I don't have no answer for myself. And it's hard. It's a lot to carry. It is a lot to carry. It is a lot of burden. You just don't have no answer for yourself and you don't have the answer to your children. And you don't know what the future like. Newham Council told us Famida was bypassed for the property because the internal stairs weren't deemed suitable for a family member with severe mobility issues, that's her husband. Regarding saying that she was adequately housed, the council says that error was made on its IT system but had no impact on her offer, neither delayed her rehousing. The council also says most of the issues at Famida's house have been fixed and that a full survey of the property has been arranged to identify any outstanding issues. Famida is juggling part-time work, her housing troubles and social services at the moment. She says life feels like a battle.